Oh look, more of this. Hopefully there isn't another donut waiting for me. I'd like to be able to just skedaddle on through. But I need all the donuts. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, I was. Hey, look at that! I got two hundred of them. Holy crap! Remember when I said I was gonna get like a third of them? That was a bold-faced lie. Apparently, I'm the greatest human being to exist. Ah, and the days go by. What a boring end. I like that song. It's catchy. And up here we have a donut. I see you. Wee. Ah, damn it! I meant to, meant to jump there. Dapa tippa see you. Who the hell makes a bowling factory like that? Bowling ball. Bowling alley like that. <sighs> what do you want? I told my my secret. And your secret is didn't feel over well. Emily? Where are you? Nearby. Is this a metaphor for how society sees homosexuality? Why are you running from me? I guess I should just go start their charming. <laughs> and depression no. for keeping it's that secret, stupid. which is the representation but of a I giant beast with a box cutter? Emily, hold on. I bet not, actually. Hey. JJ, I have rich range now. I feel a lot lighter. I'll be right there. Just wait for me. Okay, Emily. Glad thing. Glad one thing. I need to hurry. Yeah, you do. I mean, I don't know what the fuck's going on, but oh, hey, thanks. Ah. Uh... Uh, looks like mom went through my room without my permission. Everything okay? I think you gotta believe me for now, but she's getting really suspicious. She's so she's obvious. She's so oblivious when it comes to other people, but for some reason she always knows when I'm hiding something. I don't know what to do. I'm sure, I'll be fine. When it comes time, I think we should just tell her. We're going to have to get it at some point, no matter how things go. Yep, I'm guessing this game's a big old metaphor for coming out homosexuality and how society sees and or deals with it. Uh. Although, and I guess the woman with the box cutter represents the depression and weight of carrying those secrets. I don't know what the ripping my limbs off and lighting myself on fire to solve puzzles is supposed to be about. That just might be sweary being weird. Yeah, you're right. I'll always be here when you need me. And no matter what happens, I'll always be by on your side. La. Do you decide when you're coming home? I'm going to schedule an appointment with a counselor while you're here, so let me know ASAP. Ugh. What? My very my friend introduced me to a very good psychiatric counselor. He's especially good at dealing with people your age, you know, since you're at such an unstable period in your life. Anyway, yeah, this will go over great. Anyway, he's supposed to be good at listening to young people who have problems. Once he talk takes a look at you, I'm sure he'll be able to figure out what's caused the abnormalities in your mind. I don't need a counselor. I'm not so sure about that. Let's just go see him together. You don't need to pay for it. I don't want to go, but you need you need to get treatment as soon as possible. Treatment. I'm not sick. Yes, honey, you are. Mom, I'm sorry. So, little Jackie, please don't be angry with me. Why would I be angry with you? I know I shouldn't have done this, but I took your clothes out of your room and tried to give them to Emily's mother on my way home from church. What? Said Emily didn't own any clothes like that. Something about how she wouldn't buy clothes like that and how they were too big. Mom, it's been my mind ever since. I know I shouldn't have done that, but I had to make sure I just had to. What'd you do? Sorry, Jackie. I read your diary. I found out about your secret. Please go to the council with me, Jackie. I'm sure your mind is just a little unstable. Why did I leave my diary? That seems like a stupid thing to do. I mean, 
Probably not the time to be pointing fingers, but it does seem like a bit of a misstep on JJ's part. We get you back to normal in no time. Back to the smart, well-balanced Jackie will know love. Please, please do as I say just this once. Just let me know when you're coming home. Um, yeah, this is, this is a healthy relationship. Uh, is it slicey monster time? Oh, it's you again. You sound more growly than usual. By the way, no period that's ever been called the good old days ever had these things in them. These things are horrible. Uh, JJ's mom. Not a great parent. I mean, unless her secret is I've been burying bodies my entire life. At which point, I yeah, counselor is probably a wise, wise decision. But, you know, that's probably not the secret. It's probably, you know, lesbians. And, uh... That's not something you need to see a counselor about. Being lesbian, I mean. I mean... <sighs> how to phrase it. If you feel like you need a counselor and you happen to be a lesbian, and the two issues are potentially related, fine, whatever. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, you do not need a counselor because you are a lesbian, however. The, the two are not correlated. I've known plenty of lesbians. I'm guessing one or two of them didn't need a counselor. Some of them totally did, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't because they were a lesbian. Oh, I gotta get to that Sleepy Donuts guy. Needed counselors for whole different reasons. Of you know, The lesbian thing had nothing to do with it. Donut up there, so I gotta get up there. And then I have to position myself so I don't just fall up this pit. Ugh. Hit me with your best shot. And here we go. Is anyone there? Hey, grab the plug. Why is this thing even... Oh. I, I get what I have to do. And I've already done it. Ta-da! A rope. Alright, I'm a bit incompetent, but, you know. Who among here can say they're completely competent? I know I can't. In fact, I just said I wasn't. Climb down the rope a bit. And there we go. Ugh, now what? Hey, JJ. I prefer the moose, honestly. Do you remember the clock tower we went to when we were in kids? Clock tower? Do you remember the secret psychology there? Secret? How I do drop leave you kept being friends with me. Man. Of course. The secret doesn't change anything. You're still you, Emily. I hope it can go to clock tower again someday. That clock tower? Yeah. I want to go to the clock tower again someday. Okay. Let's meet at the clock tower then. I'll be right there. I'm sorry, JJ. I wouldn't keep the promise. 
They soon beat me, really. I'll be there. Emily? Emily! <sighs> Don't do anything rash, Emily. I mean, look, the game opens with, uh, this game has depictions of suicide. I kind of, I'm, I, I have a hunch on where it goes, shall we say? How the hell do I get there? Can I lead the monkey that far? There's no way I lead the monkey that far. It might be down there. Or is this, no, I came from down there. I'll get you, Simon. All right, let's see what the mom and Emily have to say. Mom made an appointment for you to see a counselor. She wants us to go together. Maybe there really is something wrong with me. No, there isn't. You aren't sick in any way, trust me. Mom said that if I'm not, then God must have just made a mistake. JJ, you're you no matter what anyone says. I know who the real JJ is, and I love you from the bottom of my heart. Love? What kind of... Which kind of love? Sorry, that was mean, wasn't it? Sorry, I'm going to sleep. Bye, love. <sighs> Mom, I'll be home next week. Emily said she'd be home around then, too. Okay, sorry about yesterday. When I get home, there's something important I need to talk to you about. I just want to talk about it in person. I'll be waiting for you here. <sighs> Good old secrets between friends and family. Can't say I'm a fan of my family, so my secrets are my own. I like my friends well enough. The friends that I like, anyway. Some of them can suck dick, but, you know. I have plenty of... Why is that there? I have plenty of... Plenty of friends that I rather enjoy spending time with and like, so... That's good and healthy, I wager. And I'm gonna drop down here. Hoping this is the right spot to go for them donuts. Yeah. See you down there, monkey. Fucking asshole of a monkey. He also sure seem to like snarling, which is creepy as shit, but you know. Okay, first one I'm gonna get is the one that's clearly up in this direction. So come on, come on, turn the radio on. It's Friday night and I won't be long. Later, sucker. <laughs> Over here, you dumbass. If you're going to be terrifying and chase me, you can at least do a halfway decent job of it. Aw, oh, I can't get this far. Now, well. Oh, I can get there. All right. Well, let's get there then. Let's see? Look at me being clever. All right. What's the phone say? Oh, more cheats. Hold on. Sleepy. Oh man, this I might actually keep this one. Ah, oh, look at her in the baker's hat. Yeah, I'm keeping that one. costume's pretty much the same, but the hat's adorable. Smashy, smashy! Okay. Makes the silhouette kind of weird, though, with the hat. I'm gonna turn that off, actually. The, the silhouette's a little too silly. Also, I should read these. Okay. Abby. Abby, what kind of fights do you get into your parents? Why? Just curious. Uh, I don't know. They yell at me, so I yell back at them and stuff. More detail? Uh, I don't know. When my parents tell me not to do something, it pisses me off worse than hearing it from a friend. Like, they have any right to tell me what to do after they, they put me through. You know, so I always come back as hard as I can. Our friend fights usually end in ties, though. We forget about it the next day. I see. What? Your mom get mad at you? Sort of. Parents aren't always like that. Just tell them how you feel. I think I will. Thanks. Leave it to me. Hi, Philip. What do you want? What kind of role are you playing for this audition? A detective who lost his girlfriend. Hmm. He's a main character and he has a sad past. Perfect for me. I guess. Don't you think you'd be better as a depraved serial killer? I think I'd be great as that. Like one of those guys who eats the hair of girls he kills or something? I could pull that off. You're nuts! 
If I get to be the hot, sexy killer, I'll let you be a zombie rotting in the corner in the room. No thanks, I hate gross stuff. Besides, I never said the killer had to be hot. That reminds me. No. Won't take long. What is it? Can you turn in my exhibition events paper for me while I'm gone? I mean, the least you do is ask me before you leave. Make it worth your while. Buy me a tuk-tuk. What the fuck is that? Look it up. Okay. I mean, just turn it in for him. Jackie, what's your type? Romantically, I mean. Uh... Sassy and able to wrap me around their finger because I am an insane person who needs somebody... Somebody sane giving him structure and order in his life. But, uh... That's perfect. They also, preferably, are charmed by my otherwise stupid antics. Uh, so... Yeah, that's pretty much my life. If you know Trigun, I need a, uh... Meryl Strife to my Vash the Stampede. It's kind of what I need. And like. Don't really have one. Okay, what kind of people do you not like? Can't really think of the answer to it either. Um... People that can't take a joke and are argumentative. Like, actually heated debates and not just, you know, complaining like me. I don't know. What about you? Do you have a type? Yep, kind, cool, smart, nice hands, stylish, that's about it. I see. I hope you find the right person for you. Me too. <sighs> take a hint, Lily. Hello, Macfield! Your mother called me and said you've been acting strangely lately. Is something wrong? I'm fine. Good! You know you can always come to me if you're in any trouble. I know. And try and stay in contact with your family. Your mother's probably worried since you live so far away from her now. Okay. Plop. And... I think I can jump up there. If I can't jump up there, I'm gonna get the sleepy guy first. Because if I can't, you know, jump up there to get the shortcut, I'd rather not do all this again. I can't imagine the game would be that cruel, though. Yeah, okay. Them donuts are sleepy. Alright. And I have even more messages. Whee! To be fair, I got most of the donuts. Like I said, I'll probably I'm hoping I can get all of the texts, even though I missed a few. I'll be fine if I like miss some cheats or gallery. There you go, girl. But let's see the oh, I got another cheat. Mr. Berry Ring. What? Oh! I actually think that one's kind of cute. Uh, I'm still going to turn it off because, you know, that's just how I roll. But, you know, that one is very cute. Ahem. <clears throat> now then. Hey, where have you been? Are you okay? Yeah, I just haven't been feeling well. Make sure you take it easy. I will. If you want to go to a concert bluff team, just let me know. Anytime. How'd the audition go? Terrible, huh? They s that's what they said to me. I didn't match their image for the character, and I have no talent. That must have hurt. Never been more humiliated in my entire life. What are you gonna do now? Find a new audition and go for it. And this time I won't ask. I won't ask my dad for help this time. Sweet. I'm cheering you on. Thanks. Any good advice for me? Hmm, be serious, bold, and genuine. How's that sound? Okay, I'm gonna do this. Jackie, you borrowed a book from the library for real after, right? Yeah. I think I accidentally saw the cover. Uh, is that the condition you're suffering from? It's for class, really? Of course. Yeah, I thought so. Sorry for the weird question. It's okay. Hi, Professor Goodman. I have a strange question. Yes? Ever felt like you don't understand who you are anymore? Oh, yes, of course. I went through a lot of turmoil when I was a student. I wasted so much time worrying about what others thought of me. I did not. Putting all the effort and time in syncing yourself up with voice with others is the quickest way to drop to drop yourself into that trap. If you feel troubled or confused, come in and talk to me. I'm sure we can find and understand what you're going through. Thank you. I'm always happy to lend an ear. <sighs> Love getting... Oh, okay, it's you. I can tolerate you at this point. Comparatively, you are you know, tolerable. Where are you now, Clock Tower? I think Emily's up there. Really? I just spoke with her. You sure? What's that supposed to mean? I'm just worried. About what? Are you ignoring me? Hey, FK, you're ignoring me? You're ignoring me? I'm in a hurry, you know. Better not get in my way. Go to hell. Well, that was kind of rude, I think. Oh, good God. 
Fine. One more and then it's the end of the episode. Did you see it already? My friend from high school sent it to me. He said, this is you, right? JJ. JJ, heart, 19, princess, pack, and extra. Age 19, lives in State of Maine, studied at Moosefoot College. Someone made a fake account using my pictures. Well, that's unfortunate. I know, don't think about it. Just ignore it, they'll get bored and go away eventually. It's supposed to make me feel better. You can never delete something once it gets up on the internet. I mean, I delete a YouTube video. Although there are archival sites. I wonder if I can find those old videos. Huh. That'd be interesting. That's how every single person is going to see me now for the rest of my life. I mean, not really. It's only if they find you on a dating site, and even then. Hey, Jay, are you okay? What do you think? People are already talking about it or where you are, right? You should try and act like you don't know me. If they find you're my best friend, they'll start treating you like a weirdo. Why are you acting this way? You don't really understand what I'm going through. Probably just think it's cute or funny because I'm a freak. What the? This feels like it goes beyond just homosexuality, you know? Did you tell all your friends about me already? About you know, the freak you're friends with? So just stop, or I'm really going to get mad. Why would you get mad? I'm the one who's getting hurt here. Oh, that's right. You're friends with me because you're a nice person. I'm sad, pathetic. That's why you're kind to me. I get it. You just feel sorry for me. Why are you being stupid? I can't believe you. Is it really you see me? Answer JJ. Say no. JJ, please answer me. Please. I don't care anymore. And then, tonally inappropriate donut buy. All right, Mom. Today went so well. I feel so relieved. The doctor said he thinks he'll be able to cure you in no time. Ugh. It's going to be expen more expensive than I was planning, but don't worry, I'll take care of anything. Do whatever it takes to get you back to normal. I promised your father that I'd make sure you grew up to be an excellent heir. I'm so glad we found a reliable doctor. I love you, my sweet little Jackie. Jackie Jameson Macfield. I love you from the bottom of my heart. Ugh, boy. Oh, good. Her. Hey, babe. Been a while. Oh, good. <laughs> Even she is like sick of this thing shit. Uh, me and JJ. I like when we're in sync and on the same page. But don't trip and fall, dear. I mean, look, that's really think that was going to stop it. I think teleports around in swarms of hands borrowed from Psychonauts Lake. Lake, uh, Oberdin. Why not? Hey! Oh, I didn't get the Sleepy Donut rip. Okay, go to hell. Sure, why not? Oh damn, that's really- I like that one a lot. Black and red. It's a good color combination. I prefer red and white. And blue and white, actually. They're quite nice. Alright, what have you guys been up to? Abby, I need to talk to you about something. Sorry, actually, never mind. Oh. Yo, JJ, I'm quitting school. What the fuck? Why? Because I don't want to give up on my dream. I can't juggle both at once, so I'm just going to cut off the weakest link. Parents said it was okay. Yeah, they told me to follow my dream. But I also promised them I wouldn't give up easily. You have a really great dad. Yep. Must feel nice to have us all go like that. You have one too, don't you? Maybe. What do you want to do when you grow up? Still think about it. Well, don't rush. Anyway, me and the school are history. I'll miss you a little. A little? I'll be cheering you on. Thanks. I'll let you know when I get apart. Lily, about the library book. Did you tell me about it? Why? People are spreading weird rumors. Hmm. I might have said you were struggling with a condition. A condition? The, book the one the book talks about. Who asked you to do that? No one? Just worried about you. I want you to be yourself. That's not you. It's weird. I can take care of myself. Don't tell anyone else about this. Okay, it'll be our secret. Pitter-patter, meow. Meow. Hello, Macfield. I heard a strange rumor about you in school today. Is it true? Yes. I see. There's a good school counselor available if you like you need some help. All right, look. This clearly goes beyond homosexuality. I don't know what the fuck she has. Yeah, I'll do my best to deal with other students. It's okay. I don't really want to make a big thing out of this. I understand. Does your mother know? No, she does not. Please don't tell her. I see. Just don't try and shoulder this all on your own. Okay. Ugh. This bitch. Whee! Need my donut. 
Okay, that was... Can she get me there, or...? Yeah, she can. Alright, well, I mean, I'm dead, so... Unless I can... No, I can't walk past her, so... I mean, that was kind of censored, but I think she just ran me through with a box cutter. Which is, you know... Grim! Oh, shit! When we return more of this...